Hey everybody, how are you doing? Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. And today I wanted to talk with you guys about a delivery app called Point Pickup. They partner with a few grocery companies. Point Pickup works with more than just grocery stores for delivery. You can also have the option to deliver food from restaurants as well as work with other companies for shipping. They've actually partnered with a few grocery stores and one of the main ones that they work with is Walmart. Where I am in Central Florida, as far as I know, they are expanding. But right now they're kind of centralized in parts of Volusia County like DeLand, DeBerry, Deltona, etc. So that's kind of where they are. This is a nice little app. I mean, it's not too bad. It's almost similar to how DoorDash runs their program where you just go to Walmart and pick up the groceries and deliver it. And the pay is about the same. You are able to get tips. That's one thing I did want to tell you. You are able to get tips. And so what I'm going to show you guys is how the app works real quick. Um, and you can make a little nice piece of change with it. But you, of course, you won't get rich from it. And the orders that you see pop up, they do go very fast. It's just like in the other app where if you don't get it right away, then it's gone. But unlike maybe like Postmates or something like that, where it's specifically designed to you. But with this particular app, it's once it's out there, any other delivery driver can grab it. So if Point Pickup has just launched in your area, if they are relatively new, then of course, yeah, you may see the orders go pretty quickly because, you know, there's only so many drivers uh, in that area. So that's something that you want to look at as well. So let's take a look at how it runs and I will be right back. So I am back and I am going to log into my point pickup driver app now the point pickup driver app is located in the google play store if you have android or in the apple store um which is of course available on ios so i'm going to log into here i'm going to refresh it a couple of times and just to see if i have an order now this is where i am located right at this point in time i am located in the maitland um Florida area, which is central Florida, and I'm just waiting here. I just, I always tend to wait at this particular park. Uh, this is one of my favorite areas um, in central Florida. I just love parks. Whenever I have a break, I just usually come to certain areas. Not the same area every time, but just coming here. Now, the app does refresh itself sometimes. If you look down here at the bottom, you'll see refresh. And you can always refresh it sometimes if things freeze up a little bit. Now, right now it's 1.08 p.m. in the afternoon. And you can kind of see that there's nothing available. But once again, like I said, um, you know, but once again, it's not it's not right here, like where I am, uh, right in the smack dab of Central Florida. Point pickup is available around the D-Land, uh, the Barry area, which is what you see up here. But even though I'm sitting here waiting on a particular order, I believe that once I get closer to, to that location, you will probably see more orders pop up. Okay, now orders do go particularly fast. And once you see those, then you'll kind of know like what I'm talking about. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is kind of show you around the app just a little bit before I get a an order. Now keep in mind that when orders do come up again they go very very fast and if you would like your notifications on or off you have that choice if you go up here to the top right you will see the bell click on the bell and it says that okay now now this is only for notifications if you have anything important that um, you know you want to check out now this is it says here you've been approved on the 31st of July because I did apply in July um, but those are only for important notifications. But if you want, um, you know, for the app to show you, you know, hey, this is an order or not, I believe that that kind of goes into your settings, which is on your phone. So if you want to stop the app, you can do that, but still have yourself logged in. You can do that on your own. But if you want to just take a look over here to the top left, it talks a little bit about payments, your payment method. Now, you do not have to pay anything out of pocket. There are no debit cards or anything like that. Um, you don't have to, you know, just like, you know, how DoorDash or maybe Postmates would do, you would have to have like a debit card to pay for certain purchases or even Instacart or shipped where there are uh, purchases that you would have to make and they will send you a debit card. There's nothing out of pocket that you have to pay. Okay. Now working schedule. Now here is pretty cool. You can set when you want to work. Now keep in mind guys, you have the option to work when you want 
depending on how busy it is or what's available in your area. Now, sometimes uh, orders are released as early as like 4.45, 4.30 in the morning. I kid you not, there are some people who need certain items early in the morning. So, you know, you have flexibility there. Now, I check these times. Of course, I'm not going to get up that early, but you can check to see, okay, what times. So if you say, you know what, I want to work Sunday from 2 p.m. until 7 p.m. And then from maybe, I'll just say that's it. (laughs) And then you save your changes. And that's it. You're still checked. As long as the check mark is here on the left, then you're good. But if you don't want to work on a particular day, you just uncheck that and then save it. But if you want to go back and say, yeah, I want to work Sunday, click on that. And then that's available. And then click on save. Always make sure that you save. Okay. So that's kind of how that works. You pick your schedule. You can, you can pick what times you want to work. You, you, you can do, I think two blocks. Oh, I have an order. I have one right here. See, this is one. The payout is seven dollars and ninety-eight cents. Distance is seven seven point two nine miles, and the package is groceries. So you'll know what what kind of package it is, okay? If it's maybe um, I don't know, home goods or whatever, you'll know. And also, you have to have a photo of the delivery. Um, the pickup you have two hours and thirty-three minutes for this entire order to be sh- uh, picked up and delivered. It says arrival time is 3.45, so you need to be to the store at 3.45 p.m. Um, now, this looks like a Walmart store. Of course, once again, it's groceries. It says not earlier, so you can't arrive earlier than the time that you need to be there to pick it up. Um, the drop-off location, um, now the drop-off location is at the bottom. Um, so you really can't, you know, I'm, I'm really not supposed to show you that. And I'm, I'm going to try to edit this video to let you know um, how I did that. So I'm not going to show you that part, but you can accept the order, click on accept, and it will show you the time that you need to have this order delivered by. So once again, you have a total of two hours and 33 minutes to have everything completely done. Um, and you have to be to the store at this time, which is 345, and, and you can drop it off by 5 p.m. That's what time the customer's order has to be delivered. So it shows you the distance. It, sh- it has the, um, the order information up top to the right, um, the, the type of package. It does require a photo delivery, so you will need to take a f- photograph once you dropped it off, okay? And just like I told you, it's not available right here, but um, but it is available further out, like further north of where I live. So that's, once again, in Volusia County, D-Land, DeBerry, Deltona, that area, okay? So uh, yeah, guys, I mean, that, that's kind of how that worked. Now, I think the order might be gone, so I'm not really sure if it's still there, but I can try to accept it <laughs> just to see, and which I doubt. Now, I guess it's still available. Um, no one has picked up the order. It says, are you sure you want to accept this order? By accepting this order, you acknowledge that there is a penalty for a no-show. So um, I would say yes, <laughs> uh, just to show you guys, but I'm not going to do it today. Because um, I, I just have other, have other things I have to do, but I'm going to kind of hop out of there but I think that order was gone anyway because they go super fast so once again I'm going to refresh it but for me personally from from where I live even though um I live in this area but not this area area like I live uh, in Seminole County so where I am is kind of like considered as orange so um Seminole County is 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 a lot closer to the Volusia County area and D-Land and Deltona from where I live so sometimes you might see more orders pop up the closer that you are to a particular store or location, okay? Um, so I don't want you having to sit outside for long periods of time waiting for an order um, or anything like that. So let's kind of go back. And so you have the driver details or working area, and you have the area. You can also pick the area that you want to work in within a particular radius. So you can also go to roaming location. So say suppose if you're just roaming around um, wherever you are, and you just kind of want to get an order uh, wherever you are. That also works. And you can also specify what radius within 10 miles, um, within basically bet- between 10 miles and 50 miles. And so you can do that as well. I'll just say 40, but I'm not gonna really going to do that. So I just save changes. But for me, uh, I just usually stay within um, a fixed location of 
maybe where you are. Like say, say suppose if you kind of want to work around your house or where you live or wherever you are, you can actually specify that. So you can put the address down here and then you want to put that in there and then say, okay, I want to work around uh, my house, but within so many miles. So that works as well. Okay. But I'm just going to kind of stick with roaming location, even though I don't really have to. Um, that works for me. Now your driver details is here. You click on driver details and you ask, and, and, and what I like about this is the fact that depending on the type of car you have, they also give you orders depending on the type of vehicle you have, which is pretty neat. Um, I, don't, I don't really know if the pay will increase depending on the type of car that you have. So me, I have a sedan. And, um, but whatever kind of vehicle you have, you can pick and choose from that, whether it's from an SUV all the way over to a length of truck over 14 feet. Um, you know, pallet jack. These are all some of the things that you can um, add if you have, you know, your car hooked up. Okay. Now go to qualifications. Um, now this is great because you can actually make more money as well. Uh, for instance, if you are qualified as a TSA agent or HIPAA, HIPAA, I am, um, a commercial, if you have a commercial driver's license. Now, is a regular driver's license a commercial? I don't believe so. I'm not even sure. I have a, I have a regular driver's license, but I know people who have like, like a trucking license or a certain type of license, they, they can do this. If you're bonded and stuff like that, you know, it's, what, it's like whatever. Now, this is cool. If you go over to packages, oh, here's another one, guys. Here's another one see how fast that went they just sent that to me and it, and it's gone they go quickly but even if i get an, another order i'm not gonna like focus on that i'm just gonna go back into working area i'm sorry um working schedule ah my bad uh vehicle details definitely not that um so i went back into driver details and now over to packages this is fantastic. You can specify what type of pickup that you want to do. So if you say, hey, you know what? I only want to deal with groceries, okay? Um, you know, you can pick and choose all those things. If you say, you know what? I don't want anything having to do with liquor stores. I want to do with pharmacy orders, any of that. Just groceries. You can do that and just save it, Okay. But if you said, you know what, I don't mind picking up boxes, bags, envelopes, takeout food, um, you know, different shaped items, flowers and plants, blase, blase. Um, but you can pick up items with liquor. So if you say, you know, what, I don't mind picking up groceries that include liquor, like maybe like wine or beer or something like that, you can do that. You can pick up pharmacy orders, oversized items, and also orders over 35 pounds. And usually that will come from somewhere like maybe like Walmart or a wholesale club like Sam's or BJ's or Costco or something like that. And you can also do general merchandising if you want, depending on who you partner with. So click on save. And yeah, that's it. So I believe that the more that you want to uh, work with, the more orders that I'm sure that you will probably get. But again, I am in Central Florida, and so I do not know... Um, how far they will come out this way. But I do know I did receive an email stating that they are working on, um, you know, coming this way. So, you know, if you have any questions, there's a help center. Help center, uh, for me, at least in my opinion, works pretty good. It's from, of course, Zendesk. And some of, some of the major questions that you have, guys, is right here. Um, you can also get support if you have any questions about your order, payment questions, account management, uh, of course, questions about COVID, you know, that's all that stuff's there. So, and of course, your payment method, um, they are paid by Stripe, which is direct deposit, which is pretty much how a lot of the companies use direct deposit. I believe Instacart also uses Stripe. I'm not sure if Ship does or not, but a lot of companies are using Stripe for payment method for uh, direct deposit, which is perfect. Now, what I want to show you guys real quick um, is... Now, if you want to log out, you're more than welcome to do that, which I'm going to do. Go up to the top stripe. Click on your name. And once you click on the top stripe, you want to click on your name up here. Once you click on that, I'm going to delete this out. I'm going to kind of mark this out, but um, you can log out. And that's it. Now, if you want to sign up again, guys, you know, uh, if you already have the app, you can register as a driver. 
And now these are the items that you need to register as a driver, a driver's license, bank account, and a social security number. So, but I wanted to share with you guys an email that I received um, from them. And these are some of the, I'm not going to say it's a con per, per se, but uh, now I just clicked on a newsletter that, that they had sent me. This now, they always send out emails on how to successfully complete a delivery, whatever it is, whether it's groceries, uh, general merchandise, if it's something else, whatever whatever it is. And so I like these and I do read them because they have pertinent information. So sometimes we forget, sometimes we don't go back, but I do save these in a particular folder in my email. Okay, now completing a successful delivery. Now, I'm not going to read all of that. It just basically... Um, tells you how to do this and how to um, you know deliver the items appropriately now this is what you need to pay attention to all right now it says here these are the penalties for um, you know for the company in case you kind of screw up here now these are the penalties for inaccurate delivery will result in the following now if you do not follow these rules this could happen to you loss of pay which means that they're probably going to take away your pay for something a charge incurred if the items are lost. Now, um, now say suppose if I'm not re- now I'm not really sure what they are meaning by if the items are lost. Uh, I'm assuming that maybe you went to go pick up an item or something and it fell out of your car, or maybe you set it down somewhere. I don't know. I don't really see how that could happen, but it could happen. I'm assuming. Um, I'm not really sure if maybe they also include alleged items missing for instance if you drop off an an order and the customer says well this never arrived i'm not really sure about that part but it says lost whatever um so it says that they'll charge you for it uh and also you'll get a block from the platform so it means that they could block you can be basically deactivated if certain things happen so that that's kind of how that would work And so I just scroll down a little bit, and that's kind of how that works, guys. And so I just, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a cute little app, and I, I, I think, you know, it might work, you know, depending on how busy they get and, you know, depending on how many um, delivery partners and business partners that they work with, and it might not be too bad. So I'm going to go over to the next video. And, and I hope that helps you out a little bit. I am going to do more videos on this, but uh, I think this is a nice little app if you want to make some extra money, if they are available in your area. So, um, you know, if you have more questions, you can reach out to the company itself. Now, if you're wondering how long does it take to get approved? Now, when I first applied, when I first heard about the company, um, it took, I want to say no more than a week, but I don't even think it took a week. I think it took maybe a few days if that like it it took a few days i think i i can't quite remember for sure but it did take a couple of days now one of the pros that i feel uh, about this particular company is that you you see the compensation that you will earn from point pickup Um, you can also see the customer's uh, location and the address which is what i like and as far as compensation drivers paid once a week which is on Wednesdays by Stripe so make sure that you have your Stripe account connected on your portal but uh, but keep in mind you're not shopping you're just delivering you're just picking up the items putting it in your car and you're dropping it off to the customer so um, they are growing and they're adding more more business partners which is a good thing so you know I, I definitely want you guys to keep a lookout on that if this is something that you want to do this will be a great little part-time gig you know I'm not saying it's gonna be a full-time thing for anybody because they're still relatively new in some parts but yeah just give it a shot and see how you like it and uh, definitely let me know if it worked out for you I hope it does but I'm going to leave a link down there below if you guys do want to sign up a point pickup um you know everyone has their own opinion about it, of course but just give it a shot if it works out great if it doesn't it's okay all right thank you for stopping by my channel guys uh don't forget to subscribe if this was a blessing to you and i have more content to come just be patient with me and i will talk to you guys later have a wonderful and a blessed day bye